aftermath of the bloodletting called the Civil War, thousands of ruthless, restless, searching men traveled west. Such a man is William Colton. Like the others, he carried a blanket roll, a proficient gun, and a dedication to a new chapter in American history, the opening of the West. Howdy? Uh... Howdy. friend does belong to me. All right, uh, to use? Sure, it's all right for you to use. <laughs> yeah, you can drink it, you can swim in it, drown in it. Anything you want, it's all yours. Here. <laughs> Good. Good. I don't suppose you're an Indian, are you? Uh, Indian? <laughs> no, not Indian. You're not about to let loose of that, are you? He's mine. Belong to me. Well, I'm not planning to take it away from you. Uh, where are you going? Oh, oh, oh going, uh, uh Fort C Kearney. You know Fort Kearney? Oh, yeah, that's about 12 miles from here. Ah. You walking? Uh, walk, yeah, yes. Yes, walking. <laughs> Got no horse? Ah, uh, you can ride with me if you want to. You get there a lot faster. <laughs> That's uh, nice. <laughs> All right, let's go. My name's Colton. We pleased to meet you, Colton. No, I'm Colton. <laughs> this is Joshua. Joshua. <laughs> uh, Rabinovich. Uh, first name Hyman. Uh, first name Colton. Oh, William. Just call me Bill, huh? Joshua got last name. I haven't thought up one yet. Where are you from, Hyman? I mean, originally. From, uh... uh oh, originally. Uh, Latvia. Oh, Latvia, huh? Uh, shoemaker. Uh, make shoes. 
Horseshoes, uh, shoes, boots, uh, everything. Yeah, I understand. Uh, America, one year now. Learn, talk American. Very good, too. Talk like a cowboy. Howdy. Uh, okay. And uh, gee up. <laughs> you sound just like you came off the range. Simon, what are you doing over there? Cossacks. Cossacks? They were troopers. They're not Cossacks. U.S. cavalrymen. U.S. cavalrymen? Ah, United States cavalrymen. Back in Latvia, Cossacks come. Burn houses, kill people, kill my grandfather, kill my father. Every time I see uniform, I think Cossacks after Hyman, but... But I, I am wrong, eh? Not in America. Not in Wild West. No Cossacks here. No Cossacks. Indians after Hyman, yes. Uh, bandits after Hyman. Um, Possible, but uh, no Cossacks, huh? No Cossacks. Not in America. <laughs> uh, put your foot in the stirrup, Hyman. Yeah, in stirrup. Uh, right here. Yeah. I give you a boost, you throw your leg over, huh? Plow on. <gasps> That's it. All the way back there. Are you all right? Yes. <laughs> Just like cowboy. <laughs> Good luck, Hyman. Brew, please. Coming up. Just right in? Yeah, I'm on my way to the Dixon Ranch. It's on the other side of town, two miles out. Thanks. You a puncher? Well, that's what I was hired for. Drink, Hardy. Poker, mister? All up day, thanks. You work in the Dixon Ranch? I aim to. I'm due there tomorrow morning. As what? Puncher. Puncher, huh? I suppose there's worse jobs. Poker's a little easier, huh? Oh, oh cards ain't a job. Oh, this is just a little relaxation. You sure you don't want a game? It's a nice clean deck. Let you shuffle. Can't you raise there? Where? There. I admire the deck, but I don't think much of the dealer. Now, that's just a trick card. I didn't have that palm for anything. Oh, like I said, mister, I'm just a range hand like yourself. I don't do this professionally. Not a fact. Let me see that palm of yours, huh? Hey. <laughs> you never branded with that hand. Or pulled up fence posts or used a rope. That's a nice, smooth palm you got there. And no calluses on the fingertips. Ah, that's the hand of a six-fingered card shark with extra aces in his pocket. All dressed up like a cowhand, aren't you? Ready to swoop down off your perch whenever an easy mark walks into the room. Drunken drummer, wide-eyed tenderfoot. How are you with uh, widows and orphans, huh? I get your point, mister. That's good.
Oh, Bill. Bill, come, 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 come. Shoemaker shop. No, Hyman. It says for sale, store with living quarters, and this says your owner will return at four o'clock. Good. Make fine shoemaker shop, whatever words say. I wait. Well, I think you're going to have to be here a little while. Bill, in here, like fortune. Four hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. When I land in America, I have a ring. You know, a ring. Mm-hmm. My father's 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 ring. Passed down from father to son, father to son, father to son. Now Hyman has, so... So I come to America to open shoemaking business. In New York, I, I, I meet a man. And he say, Hyman, go west. Everybody go west. Everybody need shoes, so Hyman, go west. But I need money to open shoemaker shop. So I sell the ring to the man. But don't touch the money. No, no, no. I keep it tied up in here. Hyman, I got a feeling you're gonna do just great. Bill, in here, Hyman's life. You hold on to that bag, Hyman. Don't let loose of it now, huh? Like my own flesh, Bill. I, uh, gonna get me a room, Hyman. Tomorrow morning I head out for that ranch that I was telling you about. You know, just outside of town. Oh, yes. But, uh, on my day off, I'll be back here and I'll order a pair of boots from you. I want the honor of being your first customer. Bill! Boots, Bill? I make you boots. He likes shoemaking, huh? It my life. Bill. Bill, you... You, you know shoemaking. It is like, like, like art. Beauty. You understand? I understand. Bill. You know something. I love America. How are you, friend? Come on over to the saloon, I'll buy you a beer. Cards, don't know rules yet. The Hyman plays. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't done so bad, Hyman. You won yourself a couple of good pots. Don't forget that shoemaker shop. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, shoemaker shop. Oh, it's it's strong. It makes me shiver. That's strong. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do we do now, Mr. Parker? Well, Hyman. This is where we fish or cut bait. And that bet ain't gonna do it. You got a bit more. More? Uh, don't have any more what you call um, uh, the, uh, chips. chips. Yeah. <laughs> well, what about in the bag there? The bag? Oh, oh no. <laughs> that shoemaker shop money, $400 we can't use. Hyman, I mean, you know what they're asking for that shop? 
Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred iron men. Eight hundred. Eight hundred dollars for a shoemaker shop. Eight hundred dollars. You gotta make it to spend it, Hyman. Mr. Parker, you want shoemaker shop. One shop so bad. All right, then bet the bundle, Hyman. And you just might walk away with that shoemaker shop. Come on, bet the whole bundle. Go ahead. You can do it. Go ahead, give it a whirl. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, jacks are better. Mister? Fair streak. Oh, never leave when you're hot, friend. Well, I've had enough for the evening. Yeah. Yeah, much too much. But much too early to quit. Well, what was the game? <laughs> I ask you a question. What was the game? Five-card draw, Jacks are better. All right. Let's you and I play at it, huh? You just take a walk in everybody's field, don't you? No, well, not everybody. It's just little shoemakers with small stakes. Now, let's go, friend, huh? No, Bill. Bill, it's no good. Game too hard. He, he take all the money. Pull up a chair, Hammond. You might learn something about poker. What are the stakes? That's four hundred dollars you just uh, won. Double or nothing. You got that kind of money to put up? I got a black horse just outside the hotel, with a saddle, rifle, and roll. That's what we're playing for. That's what we're playing for. Deal. kind of hand you just dealt to my friend here. You accusing? No, I'm telling you. You got a rigged deck there. You're crazy. Not rigged, huh? Uh, any objections? You can't switch hands like that. That ain't fair. Let's see if it's fair. Ten years over. Draw three to a pair of jacks. I'll draw four to my ace. And I'll bet you your life that you'll end up with that pair of jacks, and I'll have a handful of aces. How about that? He switches hands on me and then starts calling the cards. Deal. to me, to yourself first. We switched hands, remember? Uh, with the deck on the table. On the table. And now, off the top, one at a time, face up. Well, 
Lila. You learn anything, you shoot under the table, and I shoot over it. At the next game we play, huh? dollars and only have 400. You're not talking about my shop, are you? The empty one across the street? Why, it don't cost no $800. I'll take 200 for it. I don't want to cheat you, mister, but that's all she's worth. $200? That's what it'll take. Just a 20 by 20 shack's all she is. A little dinky room in the back. But if you got $200, she's all yours. Have I got two hundred? Have I got two hundred dollars? <laughs> two hundred dollars? Five? Five is ten, and five is fifteen, and five is twenty, and... Oh, no, look at it. Could you believe it? <laughs> Confederate money. Confederate money? It's not worth anything. Not worth anything? Just paper. No. <laughs> the price is now 150, mister. And this here silver dollar can be the down payment. Uh, here's three more. I, I need a good pair of shoes. Need a pair of number 12s, mister. It's a down payment on there. Here you go, pal. That'll buy a couple of hobnails. Shoemaker, classy shoes and boots, all reasonable. I'm in the shoemaker. Not Cossacks. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not in America. <laughs> 